What's up, y'all? It's your man, Bobby Washington, producer, singer, songwriter. I'm going to show you guys how to set up your own Roku channel step by step. This is my Roku channel right here, B Dub Films. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to show you how many videos I have in it right now. Then we're going to add a video or two right in front of your eyes. So right now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These three hats have three different meanings. I'm going to break them down hat by hat. This hat represents me, the family man, husband and father. This hat represents me, the musician, producer, singer, songwriter, street promoter. This hat represents me as a filmmaker, feature films and vlogging. These hats also represent where I'm from, Miami. The cliche, you're a jack of all trades, but somehow I managed to master all three. I'm Bobby Washington and these are my vlogs. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your man, Bobby Washington from Bobby Washington Blogs. I'm a producer, singer, songwriter, filmmaker. I wear so many hats, I'm going to just stop right there. But I want to welcome y'all to the channel. If you're not a subscriber already, please consider subscribing to your boy. I share a wealth of knowledge. Today is a perfect example of that, so you definitely should smash subscribe. You definitely should hit my notification bell because what I'm about to give you, nobody on YouTube has given because they want to make money from it off of Fiverr. And I, and I get it. But some of us can't afford it, you know what I mean? So I want to help those less uh, less fortunate people who want to put their stuff on Roku. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do your own channel step by step. And um, it's going to be a minute. Let's get into it, man. The first thing you want to do, you want to become a, a Roku developer. So you want to go to developer.roku.com and you want to um, just join and, and as a developer. And um, you're pretty much going to get approved. It takes about a day or so to get approved. Everyone gets approved. Once you get approved, then you'll start this process. You want to come to Vimeo. You want to join Vimeo with a free account first. Sign up. And then you want to upgrade on Vimeo. Okay? You want to upgrade on Vimeo. Um, like so. Let me close this tab. You want to upgrade on Vimeo. You want to join. You want to upgrade. Go to upgrade here. Um, you got three different options. Um, you got the 20, the 50, and the 75. I only did the 20 because I only have three films. So if you have about 100 films, you may want to get the next one up. But if you only got a few films, they allow, I believe it's 20 gigabytes a week right here. Yep, 20 gigabytes a week to upload. Um, you get one terabyte per year, you know. For the next one, the business one, um, you get the five terabyte and 10 team uh, um, members. So I'm, I only do, like, a, like I said, three movies I have right now. I'm going to make another one. But I don't. I, I, I doubt if I pass one terabyte. So I got the twenty dollar plan. Once you get that pro plan, you're set up for business. You can now not only have a Roku channel, but you can also sell your film, your your series, your music videos. You can sell them as VOD, uh, video on demand, which is awesome. You can also go to GoDaddy, get you a domain. Like in my case, I have a film called Steel Chamber. So I went and bought the domain name SteelChamberMovie.com, and I pointed it right to this. URL for my VOD for that particular film and I do that for every film that I have so you have two reasons why you want to get the pro one is because you want to be able to have a Roku channel streaming your um, your trailers your music videos you want to put your whole film on there I don't put my entire film on Roku I only put the trailers to advertise to send people back so they can actually support and patronize so I can be able to pay for more films right so with that being said once you have your pro account you're ready to get going your developer account has been set up it's all ready um, Amazon is pretty much similar similar um, thing but we're not doing Amazon today but it works the same way if you can get this down you can do that as well so the first thing you want to do is come to Vimeo and let's go to let's go back here let's go back and you want to come to what they call showcases well first you need to upload some videos you need to upload some trailers you know web series or whatever you have I got a few music videos a few trailers here you want to upload you know regular by going to videos and then you want to go to, hold on a second, one second. So you want to upload the videos right here, you know, like you would any other uh, channel like YouTube. And then you want to go to showcases. You want to create a new showcase by pressing plus. You create a showcase name here, here, here. I'm not going to do all that because I already have my showcase 
already set up. Okay, so I'll just go backwards. Once you have it set up, just go backwards here to showcases. I'm going to go down to, see I created a new showcase here. I don't need it. I'm going to erase it. Okay. And pause the video if you need to. Because I know I'm, I'm going to go kind of fast. I don't want this to be like a 30 minute video. Which it can be easily. So I'm clicking on my showcase. I just clicked on my showcase. And I got, like I told you, eight videos that you saw on my television screen. Right. Um, so we want to put a ninth video there. All right. So how can I do that? Let me download a video um, or let me upload a video, something that I don't have on there. I think I'm going to have to go to Dropbox and download something. Let's do that first. Hold on a second. Let me pause this and download the video. Okay, we're back. So I got a video that I want to put up. It's one of my skits. Um, I call it This is Roger. And I'm going to upload the video here. Add a video. Add a video. Alright, I'm sorry, upload a video, not add, we're not adding yet, upload, my bad. Upload, choosing a file, it's in my downloads here, and it's going to be Roger. Roger, let's call it Roger Needs Help from Dick Ambles. The guy's name is Dick Ambles. I know what you guys are thinking. His name is Dick Ambles. He needs help because his car is breaking down. It's a little skit I got from a guy with a big head. I use a filter, and it's a little thing I just clown around with. But uh, people people seem to like it. So I call it Roger Needs Help from Dick Ambles. The series is called This Is Roger. It's on YouTube as well. So we're going to put this episode over there. So now it's preparing, optimizing the video, right? And I'm going to go ahead and let it optimize. I'm going to pause it while it's optimized so I don't waste you guys' time here. Uh, let's see if I can pause it while you guys do that. Mm. Let's see here. All right. And it won't let me pause. All right. We're going to have to just bear with this to, uh, together. Let's go through this together. All right. Publish the social media. We don't want to do that. Okay, look like it's up already. Perfect. All right, so now we got that. All right, we got that. We're going to go back to the other part of the showcases again. Select the showcase that I want, which is down here as well. I can click down here or up here. I'll just click down here this time. And we're going to add This Is Roger. Add a video. And there's This Is Roger at the top. We're going to add it. We're going to put it. I'm going to let it fall right at the bottom, you know. Let it be the ninth video in line, right? So now we have to get it from this state over into the Roku and the Amazon state. They're in the same place. So once we have it here, we want to go to TV apps right here, Roku or Amazon. I'm going to Roku because this is what we're doing today. We're doing Roku, okay? All right, press Control, copy this. Now you want to open, you want to open, hold on a second. You want to open this on a new tab. So just right click this actually. Let's see. Nope. We gotta open a new tab. A new tab. And you want to paste it here. Paste it there. You see this long string of code it gave us? This is what you need. Copy from the end of that code all the way to the beginning of that code. Right? That's what you want. You want to copy from the ending to the beginning of that code boom once you do that you want to come and I'm gonna have these um, I'm gonna have these uh, these links to these sites that you're gonna be using like I'm, I'm using right now to, to decipher these codes you want to sign up as a free account for both of these sites one is called uh, JSON Jason uh, LINT dot com and the other one is called endpoint dot IO alright so we're gonna to go to the, the Jason first we're going to paste that code that we just copied, a long string right there. Come to the bottom, it says validate JSON. Boom. Now it gave you a code that you're going to use for endpoint. Okay. Now in my endpoint, I've already, I already have most of these up here. here I got the first eight, um, the first eight in here I already have, um, which is right here. Still chamber promo, schizo, come all the way down. Um, the new one I have is the, the Dick Ambles from Roger, right? So all I need is that. So 
So this is right so far. So what I want to do is I want to put the new one here. All right, so let me grab the code from here. I want to put this new ID here. This new ID here. I want to put it here. I want to make sure that these are all looking the same. So it goes up under that. Goes up under that and that. Goes up under that and that. And it has brackets. So it should be like that. Like that and that. That's up under it. Bit rate. That's correct. And then the ending up under it should be brackets. That and that. Alright. Oh, I see. That shouldn't be there. That shouldn't be there. Wait a minute. That should be there. But not this. Alright. So we should put this to close it with that. And then this. There it is. Just like that. So you want to close it with this type of bracket, that, that, and then it ends off with this type of bracket with a comma. So when you start your 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 um your new post, you always want to start it off with this, the comma, this type of bracket. I forget what it's called, but then you copy the whole ID here. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to take that ID, you want to put it in the order that it falls um on the tree. So you see how you have the list down here again? You want to put it down here at the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll simply copy it just like this with the with the um with the uh I'll put a comma after here. You see the comma above them? Put a comma here, and then you just copy this whole line. Copy this whole line. Wait, my bad. Copy the whole line. Command C. Enter. And then copy that same number, but now go and take the new number. This is the this is Roger. Now you want to copy and you want to actually paste it over this number, keeping the brackets, keeping the comma after. And then you press save. When you press save, you know that it works. If the save doesn't come up, then it's not working. Now I should be able to go back to Roku and it should work. So let's go have a look at Roku and see what's going on over there. Now we're back on my TV and we're going to check to see if this is Roger came over to my app. Okay. I'm going to scroll over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And look, nine is Roger. Let's press play on him. Yep, it works. <laughs> All right, so that's that's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. Um, I forgot to tell you. Also, have a logo ready. You see how my logo is on my uh, is on my app here. You see that logo? Um, my wife Cindy J made that logo. If you need a logo made, give us a call. She can make a logo for you, the right specs for you, and everything. Um, and we'll have it uh, ready for you and send back to you so you can upload it to the developer site for Roku. You need the same um, uh, logo for Amazon as well. Amazon work on the same string from Vimeo. They both pull from that same string, that same showcase I showed you. That's why I say it's pretty much the same thing. You know, it's just different um, developer accounts. You have to go to Amazon developer account as well. You search Google, search for developer, developer account for Amazon and go through the same process. All right, this is your man Bobby Washington. Please leave me comments below. Please hit the subscribe button if you found this valuable. Um, you know, I give out a lot of videos like this, man. So um, please stick around and check, hit the notification bell. Peace and blessings.